Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the digital planner um, I created in GoodNotes. If you're using Notability or any other um, apps, um, it might be a little bit different, but the logic is the same. So here we find our GoodNotes and click it, then we create a new file. Then we just import one. So you have already downloaded the PDF file um, onto your iPad. Just remember where you put it in your file folder. Then we click it. Once it's downloaded, um, it will show you the journal page. So here we are at the cover page. To go to the libraries, we just need to swipe. And here is library one. To go to library two and three, we just need to swipe. And I'll show you all the links here. So for to go to each book, we just need to click the covers. They're all linked to a new page. Then when we want to go back to the library, we just need to click the tabs on the right side. We just click the library tab, then we will go back to library one. And if we want some stickers, we'll just click the stickers tab and we'll go to stickers. You can put all the stickers you want to use on this page. And also the quotes, the ranking, the check-in, and the budget. So these are all the hype links in this PDF file. Sometimes you'll find you're not able to use the links. Why? Just check if your edit mode is on. If you see the pen, the eraser, um, this bar is there, it means that the edit mode is on. You need to turn off the edit mode. Just click the pen on the right uh, upper right corner to turn it off and then click the hyperlinks. See, it'll work. You're going to receive a PNG sticker sheet once you purchase my digital planner. So here is how you're go going to use the stickers. So once you're in GoodNotes, um, click the edit and uh, click the picture. So once you have the PNG um, picture in your camera roll, you'll be able to see it here. Let's just click it. So it's, it will be on your screen. To use one of the stickers, you just need to crop. Then we just crop it to the one sticker that we want to use. Let's say we want the book stacks and the coffee. Okay, here it is, we're done. Then you can change the size and rotate it to put it where you want it to be. So before everything, you need to download the cover of the book into your camera roll or our photo. Um, then we just turn on the edit mode. Then go to the photos and click the book cover you downloaded. Then we will be able to resize it and to put it where you want it to be. Let's say cover one. It can actually be a bit tricky once you put it there. Um, you'll see that um, I cannot move it somewhere else or um, cannot delete it. So here you're going to use the lasso tool. Then you can move it. Or if you want to delete it, just to long hit it and click delete. So now we can add the title of the book uh, in the library. Let's go to the edit mode. You can use the pen to write the title here or use the text box. Um, so I'll just use a pen. And before you go to the review page, um, look at the right side of this page, we have a progress bar. So I'll put a dot, I'll fill out a dot here to show that we are finishing one book. I'm going to use one of the stickers. So put your sticker page here and let's crop it to one of the small dots. I will um, use the one with shadow, maybe a coffee color. Okay. So I'm not doing it perfectly. I'll do it again. I'll just zoom out here. It will be easier to crop. Okay, done. Okay, so now I have one dot in my progress bar. Now I'm going to the book review page. So do you still remember that before we are going to click the hyperlink, we need to um, 
hit the edit mode so we are out of the edit mode then we can click the hyperlink so we just click the cover and it leads us to the um, book review page so here we can add the book title and after we finish the book we can go reading and just add some summaries and uh, just to uh, um, fill out the stars um, we can use the stickers to fill out the stars let's do it so we just pull out the sticker sheet and then crop it let's say we're going to um, give it a five star let's just resize it to okay now we have a perfect five star here so for each book i'll have this book review page and a chapter um, review page so to go to the chapter review page for this specific book we just need to swipe So you will need multiple chapter review page for one book and we only have one template and the um, PDF file I sent to you. So to create another chapter review page, we just need to hit the add page um, and we can add the current template. You can choose to add it to the page you are at uh, before the page you are at or after the page you are at. It depends on how you want your chapters um, in order. You want it from chapter one to the last chapter or you want um, you want it from the last chapter to the first one so it depends on what you want but remember to create a current template so the stickers page is for you to put uh, the stickers that you usually use in this journal let's say um, we use the pad very often so we just import the sticker sheet and crop it done and it'll be on your stickers page then when we want to use it on some other pages like in um, the chapter review page we just created we just need to click edit and uh, copy it then we go to the chapter page and paste so here it is this is how you can use the stickers you have already put in your stickers page. So for the budget page, I will highly recommend you use one of the stickers I created to indicate what um, the format of your book would be. Let's crop it. So you'll see here's um, this set of stickers. So the first one is ebook, digital book, and in the center is audiobook, and on the right hand it would be um, paperback. So you can choose either one of them to put it on the format. This would be very helpful for me, so I hope it would be helpful for you too. I hope this video would be helpful if you're using my reading journal or if you're just using GoodNotes or any other digital planners. Um, if you have any other questions, please leave in the comment. Also, please consider subscribe. See you next time.